righty. Um, happy Thanksgiving to uh, the American viewers that are watching this video today. We have some exciting things to go over. So it looks like Cedar Point is buying more property and it's all property surrounding a similar area. So I'm going to go over in this video why I think they're buying this property, what I think could be happening with this property, um, and uh, in terms of if it's a future kind of thing or a future future kind of thing, if you get what I mean. So we all know that Cedar Point has been purchasing property since I think around 2016. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But Cedar Point has been purchasing property uh, just on the exit or the entrance to the peninsula since 2016, 2017, they bought more. And then just this past week, they've purchased the rest. So in red is what Cedar Point currently now owns. So they bought the homes along, I do not know how to pronounce this name, pardon me, but Knup Street, something along those lines. They purchased those homes. Um, they purchased the old furniture store and they finished the purchase of the kind of roadway and alleyway as of this week. Now, I encompassed the red to show what they currently own. The green is what I think that they could be after. So red is a little like kind of weird to me because it's a very small plot of land. Um, and I don't know what they could be doing with residential property as well. It's it's very weird. I don't know if it's going to end up being more dorms, a hotel. A hotel would be really weird for me because it's, again, a very weird location for a hotel. Or if it's going to be off-site um, HR, um, you know, headquarters, or maybe parking. Again, it's super small for parking as well, unless they're going after the green. Now, let's say Cedar Point is going after the green. I could definitely see this being some sort of parking garage structure. Again, it would be really weird and rude to build a giant parking garage structure right next to residential homes, but Cedar Point's got to do what Cedar Point's got to do. Um now, the only thing I have against this building a giant parking structure out here and then expanding Cedar Point outward is they did just expand their front gate, made it really nice. They installed Gatekeeper and that would render that whole expansion useless. So, again, um, I do have to say I don't think this expansion and buying of property is for the near future. I think they're buying property to kind of solidify a future market. Maybe they, you know, are going to keep going after Cedar Point. For years to come and uh, they want this property just in case uh, they bought this property again for about 1.27 million dollars so for anyone that isn't in america and in ohio or in more expensive parts of america 1.27 million dollars for all that property they bought is pennies um to put that into perspective where i live you can buy a townhouse nowadays like a small townhouse for 1 million 20 like for 1 million dollars like that's how little $1 million gets you in other parts of the world or in more expensive parts in America. So the fact that Cedar Point was able to purchase this land for $1.27 million, that's a really good deal, and I do not blame them for purchasing that land. Now, let's get even more broad. So they're obviously purchasing land right at the entrance slash exit of the peninsula. Um, they're purchasing land kind of in a similar fashion, all surrounding the Thirsty Pony. Um, I encompassed it in green. They do not own the Thirsty Pony. They have not bought that land yet. But this is what I gen generally think they could be going after. Now, what they're going to do with that land is very interesting. No one really knows. They're not saying what they're going to do with it. Um, the news outlets don't know what they're going to do with it. Uh, we don't know what they're going to do with it. And you guys don't know what they're going to do with it. It's very interesting. It could be anything. I can tell you, though, it is not going to be part of the dry park. Cedar Point is not expanding all the way out there. It's impossible. It will not happen. There are a couple options that are open. Um, it could be parking. It could be, again, HR headquarters. Or it could be dorms or hotel. Really, those are kind of the only options. I mean, they could also maybe invest in a restaurants again. Maybe just a couple more restaurants out there. Anything could happen, but it's not going to be ride-related. I really don't think it's going to be park expansion-related either. It would be really difficult for Cedar Point to then tear down their front gate, move it, uh, change gatekeeper although you wouldn't really need to change gatekeeper other than maybe its name and even then not really but to remove your front gate it just, it's just not going to happen in the next five years um again whew, this is a tough one because it's are they planning that far in the future that they're uh buying this land and you know maybe eventually parking garages will move out there and they'll have shuttle transportation to the island who knows it's a very difficult situation 
Anyways, I want to hear from you guys now. Comment down below what you think. Why do you think Cedar Point is buying all this land at the exit and entrance of the peninsula? What do you think could be going on? And what do you think is going to happen? Is it a near future project or a far future project? Comment down below, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button. Share this video for others to enjoy. And comment down below. Have a great Thanksgiving and enjoy your weekend, guys. Bye.